after the uh, Copenhagen debacle, China got a lot of unfair blame, got a, took a lot of blame, and I, I think that was scandalous because I think that um, most of the governments, most of the developed country governments that were there must share the blame for what happened, and the U.S. played no small part in what happened. Um, that said, I do think China can play a more constructive role. In particular, I think China's been very reluctant to embrace the 1.5 degree target that um, I think there's more than 100 countries now which have basically you know, said we, we need to have that and support it for the very survival of some of the low-lying states and most vulnerable countries. So I think that um, China needs to listen to that and needs to play uh, a strong uh, counter role to the kind of uh, um, laggard behavior being showed by other major economies. I think the public is being scandalously misled in the U.S. I think um, because of the um, divisions in our political system and the, the vitriolic debate between Democrats and Republicans, people are just being shamelessly misled. You know, they're told that, as I said a minute ago, the global warming is a joke. And, you know, unfortunately, you know, there's, there are certain network news stations which feed that sort of propaganda. There are radio stations which promote that miskind, this kind of misinformation. And I think at some point, you know, I have to believe that truth is going to prevail. The fact is there is no trade-off between jobs and solving global warming. It's just not. In fact, it's good for the it's economy. And, you know, people are just being lied to. And until people stop getting, I think once people start getting the real information, and if they had politicians who were leaders who were actually telling them the truth and encouraging them, as I said, to do the noble thing, they would. And I think it would become a serious issue. The intercessional in China provides an opportunity uh, to communicate the fact that China is really ahead in this race to the future and that other countries, if they don't get with the program, you know, they can, they can cry all the way to the bank and complain about, you know, command and control economy or whatever it is, but at the end of the day, they're going to lose that race if they don't get with the program. And I think that that could be the, the game changer in China is for people to actually see what's happening on the ground with this massive investment in clean energy technology.